Welcome to Booze and Glues, a justifiable excuse for two friends to spend time together, cross crafts off their to-do list and, of course, drink. With glue guns and wine glasses at the ready, join Jessie Shepherd and Tabitha Davis as they attempt to simultaneously chat, craft, chug and charm. Will they consume alcohol? Definitely. Will they actually accomplish anything? Debatably. Will they bitch and complain? Inevitably. Will it be a bloody good time? Absolutely. And if things don't turn out just as planned, well, that's okay too. Because booze. Welcome to our 60 some odd episode of 60 some booze and glues. Booze and glues. Oh, maybe we should have had you record our intro. Did you like that? A nice little <laughs> melody. If Let's you guys are all like on our ass about our Facebook, I'm really sorry. I posted an event for foster care <laughs> today. <laughs> you know, I'm not cross promotion <laughs> i was like get the word out i like post it and then all of a sudden i was like booze and blues posted an event and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> i think you got a notification <laughs> <laughs> wait what did i just do that's a lot to keep track of <laughs> yeah seriously do you have the foster care agency like as a page yeah and like you're an admin on it like and so it's i pushed all... create event and booze and blues was just the one it came up right on, even though i was on the Family Solutions events page. It was weird. I don't know how right. it happened. It was just probably the last thing you were logged in as. Yeah. So. Well, you know, people need to know there's events going on for foster care agencies. Yeah. Sign Seriously. Up to be a foster parent. They do. Do it, people. There are lots of foster kids. I s- saw three of them this week, siblings that were foster children. I can't see you. And it was a weird... Oh, I can see you. Well, well I, I mean, like my I can arm see down. You, you know, but like <laughs> <laughs> your microphone like perfectly matches your dress and shoes. I'm all about well, that monochromatic life these days. That whole outfit. I have one outfit that I love to wear. It's like maroon pants, a maroon shirt, and a maroon sweater. It makes Go me happier it. than life. All right. I feel taller in it. Okay. Don't know why, but I just feel like it. Do you wear taller. high heels with it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it elongates me. The one color, you know? It's like a reddish, so it's like powerful. Mm-hmm. So you're just like, I'm going to take on the world. Yeah, that's my favorite outfit. That's fun. I also just love maroon. I wear a monochromatic. Or like burgundy, I don't know. What every day. Do you? Oh, because you are <laughs> in your little nursey outfit. And I usually wear black every day. Sometimes I switch it up and I wear a gray sweater or a gray headband. That sounds crazy. Yeah. I just, I like all black. I was so excited when we got black scrubs. I was like, because I always wore navy blue. There were like several different colors of blue we could wear. I always wore navy blue. And so when they were like, we're going to talk about doing black scrubs, I'm like, yes, please. We went and bought a whole new work, work wardrobe. Yes. And now they're all the color of my soul. Good. <laughs> I love it. How many... Of those little things, do you have to have to like make it through life? Scrubs? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just have one for every day of the week, and then I wash them. Okay. Because that's easy. I usually try to just buy all the same style too, because so you can intermix, and if one's not clean. Well, also I just don't want to think about it. Okay. And if you buy more than one style, there's always like one you end up preferring. And then you're like, oh, is that one clean? I want to wear that one. Oh. Or whatever. And so I try to just keep it like same. Keep it simple. Same, same, same. That's why part of me kind of wishes I had a uniform at work. Just because there's just one last thing you got to think about. You could. Life. I mean, have you watched that HBO documentary? No. Yet, The Inventor? No. About, um, if I'm going to not say her name right and then whatever. Um, I think it's Elizabeth Holmes. She was dropped out of college, started a business in Silicon Valley, 
defrauded people to the tune of like nine billion dollars oh all these like documentaries are coming out about millennials yeah but she ripping people apart she totally did the like steve jobs black turtleneck thing but she wore black pants black turtleneck black jacket just all black so maybe i'll just yeah and in the documentary she's you know like what i just can't i don't have time to think about what i'm wearing oh and i make a weird voice because she like had like an affectation like she like purposely made her voice lower so she would like sound more powerful yeah and so and but it's like really off-putting like when you watch her talk you can like tell she's trying you know and of course she said no no it wasn't that's how she really talked but everybody who knew her growing up or before she like started this company no no (laughs) Weird. Not really. People are strange. That's a, yeah, that's a real weird move to take. But just all black. All just, you know, 10 of the same shirt. (laughs) 10 of the same pants. Maybe I'll try it. And then you don't have to think about anything else. So you can free your mind for important things. You might invent something. Holy shit. I didn't know I was capable of. Think you won't, you don't have to separate your laundry totally true done one color Hmm. (laughs) i wonder if all her underwear is also black she probably didn't wear any okay who has time for that i do what's the point where it makes me feel safe well you're already covering everything up with pants that would take three seconds out of her day not even safe from people seeing my goods just i don't know it makes me feel secure in there Mm -hmm. like you have a little extra layer in case you pee a tiny bit sure (laughs) Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. We're drinking champagne tonight. I got out the fancy yeah, why? flutes. I got out the one that I made for your bachelorette party. That says Love it. regret nothing. Because fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> That's why. You want to cheers me to that? Yes. I've had what? a rough couple days at work. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of been rough at my work too. Um, basically, after five and a half years of putting up with someone's bullshit, I finally said something. Oh, the dirty doctor. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Good. What happened? Well, um, it's... The dirty doctor. (laughs) If you guys have heard us talking about him before, he makes very inappropriate comments to women. He makes inappropriate comments. He's made inappropriate gestures. He's been inappropriate in all sorts of ways. Um, and I mean, I feel like as a person, I have just, like, as an employee, I've just dealt with it because oftentimes that's what you have to deal with in a workplace. (laughs) I mean, it's not the first place I've worked that I've had somebody that's done something like that. So, um, I really just kind of tried to deal with it and ignore it. But, um, now I have like a duty to protect your other, your staff, the people people who work for me. Yeah. And if I don't say something or do something, then I feel like I'm complicit in sure what's happening. I get it. You know, um, and so I just said, I mean, it was like a scary thing to do. <laughs> Did you say to him or to no. HR? Uh, yeah, I brought it up to our like operations committee. So um, that was just yesterday afternoon. They keep all that anonymous, right? I got text messages last night. From him? From the doctor. <laughs> See, that's screwed up. Well, I'm sure they might keep it anonymous, but he probably knows exactly when he said what he said, you know. Um, so. Because they made you quote it. and Right. You, you can't just be like, he's inappropriate. Yeah. And usually, actually, for, like, HR stuff like that, you, I mean, they don't, there's no promise of, like, anonymity. So. Um, I've been a little concerned about what that's going to mean, like, overall, but. I have to say the rest of the practice is being, like, really supportive and taking things, you Seriously? know. Yeah, and 
you know, treating it with respect and, you know, assuring me that, you know, there won't be retaliation or anything. <laughs> but I get to work with him again next week. So <laughs> what were the text messages like? Um, just calling me a liar and stuff. <laughs> Oh, but did you also <laughs> report those? Oh, yes. I screenshotted them and immediately sent them over. Good. <laughs> because I was like, okay, at this point, the only way my job's protected is if every single thing that happens gets forwarded on because then he's going to know that I'm not going to keep it quiet and he can't right. get away with it, you know? So it's been really interesting. But of course, last night when I got the text message, I was like, got upset and like crying <laughs> and, you know because i'm like oh my god like i knew this was gonna happen you know yeah but um i don't know i just couldn't live with it anymore and i mean really i th i think the tides are changing i hope they are <laughs> you know right. like i think as a society we are living in a world that says like we don't accept these things this is not yeah. okay at least people are talking about it and yeah but like in reality like on paper we say that but like in reality we still deal with it and it gets you know pushed yeah. aside all the time so i don't know interesting so champagne because men i are whores. huh men are whores <laughs> <laughs> because I um I'm gonna take down the patriarchy one arrogant asshole <laughs> love it <laughs> you're gonna help the the world of doctor eye doctors yeah I guess I mean honestly like I am, am not like, oh, I want to, like, lodge a complaint and have it be a big thing. I'm just like, hey, can somebody talk to him and tell him to, like, chill out? Because if I'm not saying something now, like, somebody's going to say something eventually. Right. Especially now. Some new employee that would never put up with something like right. that is going to come in and well, somebody's right. going to say something someday. This next generation that, like, we have grown up in a workforce where we still have had to put up with it. But this next generation that's coming in They're is, not gonna. is gonna be like, uh, wait a minute, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And I mean Yeah. All all that needs to happen is Well, and it's a bunch like, of people that think they're entitled to whatever they feel, so it's yeah. not like they're gonna feel like they need to be quiet in order to keep a job right. that's been that's good for you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and the thing is, is, like, then that turns into something really bad, you know? Yeah. For everybody involved. And I'm just like, can I, you know, can we just call you on your shit? And you can say, sorry, I'll do better and just move on. Right. Like, that's all I want. Like, I just want it to stop happening. I'm not yeah. interested in anything else. Yeah. He doesn't need to get fired, necessarily. No. Just... I'm not. Like, that's not the point of any of it like i'm just like can you please stop yeah like behaving this way so. and you've like said some things to him yeah like before oh, yeah. like directly to him like, there have been times where, yes where i've been like oh okay well you've gone too far that's not okay <laughs> but and obviously that's not working exactly he seems to have an especial like especially a disdain for women and our entire office is women. <laughs> you can't have a separate room for breastfeeding. Oh, yeah. That was major. <laughs> <laughs> so. I yeah. kind of felt bad because uh, when Janelle was breastfeeding, like, we, I think I told you this, but we didn't have, like, a nice room for her. Like, our office was full at, the, at that time. So, we just had a chair in one of the bathrooms. I mean, our bathrooms are nice. Yeah. That's but. illegal. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal <laughs> yeah whatever you're not supposed to have. i mean so that might not qualify because there are different standards for sizes of companies so if oh. like you're an employer in california of less than 50 employees you may not have to follow that, rule, that yeah. particular but yeah it's supposed to be like a um secured room like a room that can be secured so locked um 
that is not a restroom or bathroom stall. <laughs> because I think that's what women literally used to have to deal with. It's like, I'm going to go sit on a bathroom stall and poke. Which just makes me so sad. Oh, yeah. We did not make her sit on a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a chair in there already. <laughs> that's good. No, yeah. We put a chair. There was a chair, but. Yeah. It still just was kind of funky. Right. But I mean, there is something that's like, okay, I'm feeding my baby mm-hmm. this. And, like, I'm also in a room where there's, like, fecal matter. Right. There, because one of the ladies that we had that was, she had her own office. Right. So she could shut the door. She, like, put a funny sign on the door that was, like, a cow. Oh, my gosh. Like, and it said, like, don't come in or whatever. So, like, but Janelle's the receptionist. Right. She can't lock down the lobby. <laughs> she couldn't have borrowed the office of the person? Well, that person didn't work there anymore. For a few minutes? I, I mean, or the, the office that closed? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. We made a sign that says, this room is under construction. <laughs> or this room is closed for construction. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Someday, well, I also have my own office, so I guess that doesn't really count. But. Yeah. Things are much different now from even when I breastfed my kids. Like, I remember there being a sit-in at the Chico Mall when I was breastfeeding Jackson because of people just trying to like emphasize that it's okay for women to breastfeed in public that's still a thing people I are know. arguing about i know i'm not all like you know I, I think about it and i'm not just gonna like whip my tits out all over the place but because you can dude you don't know <laughs> But you can, okay, but your baby's screaming. No, I'm not saying I won't breastfeed in public, but some people, like, it's just all out. They're not oh, even yeah, yeah. trying to be, like, even remotely discreet. I think they're trying to show as much as they possibly can. And that's where I'm like, okay, I think you're turning too hard. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I, I'm totally fine with women doing that. I personally covered up. Right. If I was at home, I didn't. Even if I was at oh, home and no. people were over, no. like, I was like... Here's my boob. Yeah, I was it's like... It's not cute. There's a baby sucking on it. If you want to be in my fucking house, deal. Yeah. Like... No, totally. I'm totally. home. This is dinner time. Whatevs. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's what I just don't... I mean, when I was public, I felt comfortable if I covered up. Right. I didn't feel comfortable doing that. If they feel comfortable, knock themselves out. Have you seen babies with the little beanies that look like a boob? Yeah. I think that's hilarious. That's great. Because it's like, look, I'm breastfeeding, and you can see my nipple. Yep. Not. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. saw one article on the internet that's like um, some lady was getting shit for breastfeeding at the mall, and she was like in front of the Victoria's Secret, and there was like this lady complaining, and there's these big pictures of chicks in- Almost nude. Yeah. Yeah. Behind her. And you're like- She's like, this is okay? Her this b- is literally what my boobs are for. Yeah. <laughs> You can see as much of her boob as you can see of mine. Yeah. Because my baby's head is covering it. Thank you. I know. It's <laughs> wild. You are so dumb. It's like, don't look at her. Yeah. That's my thing. Is I'm like, oh, you don't want to see that? Don't look at it. <laughs> it does not seem that difficult. I mean, this there was. not make any sense. Just <laughs> last year or whatever, there was, there was a big thing in a restaurant in town. Because. Really? Poorhouse. Oh. Because somebody, a customer, like, came over and complained, and the waitress um, told her manager and was like, you know, can you deal with this? And the manager told her she had to go tell the woman to cover up or leave. And it turned Not into, okay. like, a ordeal. Like, people got fired over it. <laughs> you just, you can't do that. I just, like, it's just so crazy to me. I'm like, that is literally what boobs are for. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the problem, is that everybody has, like, sexualized Sexualized them so much that it's like, (gasps) a boob, inappropriate. And it's like, um, it's feeding a baby. It's fine. And it's really not the sexiest thing in the entire world. No, not really. Like, let's be honest. Men just are obsessed with them because they breastfed when they were little or they didn't breastfeed and so then they are they're really obsessed with them <laughs> you know i mean it's just yeah. like it's a natural 
like progression. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm uh have always been pretty like not concerned about being naked in my own home and so I have a feeling that my <laughs> children will grow up and not be like completely freaked out about that stuff. That's good. I mean cuz it's normal everybody is naked under their clothes. <laughs> Everybody's like, walking around naked. I've heard one person freaking out about like a dad sharing with like his kid daughter. Well, I mean, when she's a little kid, you know how many showers I took with my dad. Me too. Up? But he used to pick me up and put me up right up under the shower head and to rinse my hair out, and it felt so good because it was like hard pressure yeah. on your head, you know. And I just loved it, and I thought it was cool. Now, I mean, we stopped at a point. Sure, I wasn't ten taking a shower yeah. with my dad. Sure. <laughs> But, but yeah, somebody was cares? like, no, like little girls shouldn't take showers with their dad. I'm like, um, I'm fine. <laughs> right. And I don't remember being like obsessed with my dad's penis. No, because it was that just wasn't a thing. I thought normal. About. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what you look like. This is what I look like. Yep. Moving yeah. on. Like, yeah. I don't even that's not like a memory in my head. Right. I just I like remember taking showers with my dad. Don't remember all the bits. Yeah, no, me either. Yeah. When you, <laughs> now that you say that, I'm like, no, I just have the memory of like taking a shower with my dad and I was like getting washed and it was special because I was with him by myself and yeah. he rinsed my hair in the shower head and it felt good and uh, that's all. Yep. Like, done. End of story. Yep. That's my dad. Because, yeah, because a <laughs> four year old's brain is not thinking about right. anything I else. I mean, little traumatized four year old brain. Sure, they might. Right, right. But a, a normal. Right. Little brain is not thinking about those things. Well, yeah, and I'm sure there are circumstances where I'm sure there are dads that bring their shower their daughters in the shower and it is not an innocent thing. Uh, yeah, probably. And Ugh. That was not the case for me, so Right. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank God. But I think it's if you completely Oh, there's my Champagne right here if you want some. Um, I think if you completely are just like, oh, no, no, Ooh. nobody see anything and that's bad. And you're just going to give your kids like a warped They're sense They're going to get of, into junior high and start fucking. Yeah. Let's be honest. They're, yeah, I mean. Because just, they don't know what life is and they're intrigued at this thing their parents always said. No, 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 no. Right. No. Yeah. It definitely, it's like, oh, what's this? I'm going to, oh, you're going to spill that all over yourself. <laughs> that came up way fast it has a strawberry to bounce off of it's to go slow i learned from a bartender about proper mimosa pouring oh yeah what do they have to say you're supposed to pour the juice first oh that's what i usually do i was like okay but when you're in the restaurant and you're having like brunch they pour that and they give you a little carabay but I like to put the juice in and then pour when I'm at home. And let's be honest, it's it's a big glass. <laughs> I like to use not little champagne flutes, my big wine glasses. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just fill that sucker or up. Or just like one of those like 7-Eleven 64 ounce. <laughs> With a <the> straw. <laughs> I have a picture on Keep my Instagram. Keep that big gulp. <laughs> <laughs> I have a picture on my Instagram. It's like, I mean, you're drinking this. Because <laughs> I used to drink a lot of soda. I don't drink hardly any anymore. Yeah. I have one every once in a while when I'm hungover. Because I still crave a Dr. Pepper in a can when I'm hungover. Oh, that's interesting. But, um, but I used to drink a lot of it. And one of my coworkers bought me those one of those huge 64 ounces. It's literally bigger than my head. I have to, like... To double hand hold this thing. How is that like a half gallon? I don't or is know. Is it like a gallon? I don't think sixty four ounces is a full gallon. I don't think a full gallon. No, but I don't want to do math right now. Too much soda. Uh yeah. And so it's I, too much soda by s- time six. Right. But so I'm drinking this thing, and I I posted on Instagram because right at that time was when New York banned that size of soda. Oh my god. 
Like they wouldn't even allow They're it to like, be sold no. in the state. So like my caption People was, can't be trusted. <laughs> my caption Like you was, couldn't get two 32 ounce sodas? Double fist it? <laughs> I love that stuff. And my caption was like, illegal in New York. <laughs> Uh, I that's saw not the a other slurpee in here no i saw it the other day i was cracking up because i'm like how funny illegal in new york well you could use it for water now because everybody's on their you know giant ass jug of water craze so yeah like you gotta you, if you're not drinking water out of a gallon jug you're nothing you're a wuss <laughs> you're nothing i don't even recognize you i just what i don't understand about i kind of get that it's like it's easier to kind of visualize if you're actually buying well, the gallons. Well, and keep track because, yeah, I have my water bottle and I'm like, have I drank three or four of these right. today? But yeah, sure. I'm like, come on. You know on. what I usually do? I just take a pen and I just write a tick mark on my wrist whenever I finish one. If I'm like trying to pay close attention. Yeah. And then I know how many I drank. Right. It's not that hard. No one can tell because of all the tattoos. <laughs> not that hard. Let's all save a couple plastic bottles. We don't need to buy seven gallon plastic bottles a week. You know what I mean? Because well, they I, don't refill them. Okay, but now they're refillable ones with like motivational quotes on them. Yep. <laughs> My favorite is like you can buy those ones on Etsy and it's literally just one water bottle. And it's like ticks for like the whole day. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, That's we're encouraging people to drink warm water. Well, that and I'm like. You're trying to motivate people to just drink, like, 25 ounces of water today? Oh. Oh, I wasn't talking about a regular water bottle size. Oh, no. There's regular water bottle size <laughs> ones. And I'm like, that's the starter kit. I'm <laughs> like, okay, this is maybe for maybe people that for have kids. never drink water in their life. Maybe it's for kids. I guess that could be. But, yeah, every time I look at it, I'm like, okay, we got to d- step up here. <laughs> One of the gals from work... Uh, not in my office, but another office <laughs> bought one, and she's been, you know, bringing it to work and drinking it. Which I'm like, hey, you do you. I'm happy for whatever. It's nice to have little milestones. But I, I also like to tease people. Yeah. Just for fun. And, and I mean, we get along really well. I'm not trying to harass her or anything, but <laughs> she's going to be the next one complaining about yeah, it. Right. <laughs> she's, no, I don't think so, because she went and told her supervisor that I was cracking her up. <laughs> <laughs> because she kept, she had it, and I would just walk by and be like, "Do the lift, bro." <laughs> <laughs> and then I walked by in a few minutes, and I'm like, "What are you bitching these days?" <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> she just was cracking up, but uh, yeah, to me, I, that's like I super associate the like having a giant jug of water with like I'm a gym rat gym bros, yeah, and yeah. I'm a bro, and yeah, totally. Yeah. 100%. So, <laughs> 100%. I'm like, and then one of the other girls in the office is like, I want to get one. And I'm like, no, don't do it. She's like, are they not cool? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, no, but if you really want to get one, knock yourself out. <laughs> you know what? I do a lot of things that aren't cool. Totally. I do a lot of nerdy things. I don't even care. Sure. I mean, and good for them if they don't care. People They're getting their water intake. Yeah, that's right. They're drinking more water. I drink than a lot I am. of water and I still don't drink enough. I, I you're don't. supposed to drink like your weight in water, not your. I mean, mm, I thought you know it was what? half your weight in ounces. Oh uh, well, all the fitness people say. All oh, your fitness weight. people can fuck off. The gym bros. The gym bros. <laughs> I don't even want to get started with the gym bros. Yeah, I'll take them down too. But you know how I'm going to take them down? I'm going to come at their legs because they always skip leg day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I have a great story. A great story. Okay. It's about the gym. Okay. And it's about not doing leg day. <laughs> it That was a perfect transition. <laughs> so I'm saying it was a perfect transition <laughs> made it a really good transition. <laughs> So, one, I'm loving my morning workouts. Oh, congratulations. Who the fuck am I? I don't know. But yeah. as of, like, once I go tomorrow and this weekend, I'm four weeks, like, wow. down doing it. Okay. I will say the only way I work out is morning workout. It just doesn't happen otherwise. It's been really awesome. 
my days feel really long. Like, I'll be telling Blake a story. I'll be like, yesterday, like, at the gym, he's mm-hmm. like, didn't you go this morning? And I'm like, no, it was. Yeah, that was this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, but so I'm at the gym, working out. And I, like, write my workouts in my little book, like a, like a gym bro. Because I like to know what I did last week. And he comes over. He's, like, a little short, like, Mexican guy. He comes over. He's like, uh, why... Why do you write things down in that book, you know? I'm like, oh, I just, like, write down, like, what weight I did on a certain thing so that next week, like, and I don't have to keep all this in my between head. between me and you. You don't care. No, I would have turned around and said, like, oh, I'm keeping track of every time someone uses the bathroom. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't go that far. <laughs> do you just love to make people feel uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> I do, but then it makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> And so I answer, he's like, yeah, my son does that. He's pretty big. You know, I just didn't really, I never really understood why. I'm like, yeah, like, I don't lift enough weight that really it's that important. But it's just one less thing to think about. Yeah. I can just turn to last week and be like, oh, I did 20 pounds. I right. can probably do 20 pounds again. And, uh, and so then he walks away. I thought that was it. Nope, that wasn't it. So he comes, <laughs> he comes back, like, between every one of his sets and talks to me about something. <laughs> <laughs> like he's probably like in his like 40s like or early 50s I don't know it turns out so he tells me he's from LA he's just here for a job he's like working at some place and um I told him like oh yeah I lived in I went to school in LA like whatever in the San Fernando Valley he's like oh my daughter went to Long Beach State blah blah, blah. so he's old enough to have a daughter that went to college right but he didn't look that old yeah so good for him so <laughs> then my brother came over and like kind of helped me with something and then went back and started doing his squats and he comes over to me he's like man that guy's like lifting a lot of weight you know he's like doing a lot of squats and I'm like yeah you know my brother's pretty strong like I'm like that's my brother because at this point I'm like I don't know if this guy's creepy right or if he's just nice but that strong man is my brother yeah, so I I was very clear to be like he, I know him and he cares about and me he will protect me we <laughs> share DNA so I made sure to be like oh that's my brother so <laughs> then he's like he tells me he was just in Vegas last week for some something like he's telling me his whole life story yeah which is fine he's just a nice guy and i'm i don't mind whatever tell me whatever you want he's from out of town he's lonely he wants someone to converse with (laughs) sure so he tells me he's in vegas but he got in a car accident and he totaled the other guy's car because he turned down a one-way street oh no and i'm like dude those one ways they'll get you every time you know (laughs) yeah and i'm like I'm like, but it seems like you're all right. You know, like, at least you made it out. He's like, also, oh. watch yourself in downtown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm cool. I'm strong. You know, I'm like, yeah, cool. And he's like, I've been shot four times. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> bitching. You know, like, Congratulations. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And he's like, yeah, like once in the hand, he shows me his bullet wound in his hand, oh my takes God. his gloves off and shows me that. And he's like, one, I don't remember where it was, but he's like, they told me I was going to be paralyzed. He's like, look at me. I'm paralyzed. Yeah. I'm like, look at you. And then he's like, <laughs> and then one time I got shot. <laughs> I got shot. And they told me I was going to die, but here I am. You know, I'm like, <laughs> here you are. <laughs> he's like another time was just like you know normal shot in the side <laughs> normal <laughs> just your average through and through just gunshot no worries everybody's had home. one <laughs> i was like oh okay cool We're run of the mill cool you know and he's like yeah i've been like stabbed quite a few times so you want great what does he great Maybe- he's from east la so oh, okay I'm like, what does he do? And he had maybe he's like a parole officer or something, and he's just getting the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> well, then he like tells me about how he's going to Mexico next week. He's gonna be there from Friday to Wednesday, and he wants to buy a house there because he likes that all the food is so fresh. Oh yeah. Um, because people just kill a cow, and you can buy a half a cow at the market, you know. And I'm like, 
sounds great. I don't want to have to cut that cow up, but <laughs> yeah, good for you. And then he's like, oh, and then you know, there's the ladies. They he said they grow chickens. In the back. <laughs> Fair enough. They grow. The, the chickens grow they, in their the backyard. The chickens do yeah. grow, um, but uh, the ladies no. grow them. Is what he said. And um, he's like, so you know, they just kill the chickens and sell them in front of their house. You just buy a chicken again. I'm like, I don't want to defeather that chicken. I have, yes, I've plucked and deboned and all the things to birds so many times. I it just nah. No thanks. No. And uh, that's really the reason I don't hunt is because I don't want to deal with the after stuff. Yeah. It's not even necessarily that I don't think I could kill an animal. Yeah. I just don't want to deal with the cleaning. Yeah. But so he's into it. That's fine. And I'm like, cool. And then then he tells me about. Oh, so that was pretty much most of the crazy stuff. And then so I'm like, I'm heading in the other room. You know, nice to meet you. His name's Armando. My name's Jesse. Whatever. We inter- we introduced. He's like, oh. It's like, take my number, take my number down. I have some tamales from Mexico, you know? And um, he's like, do you like tamales? I'm like, yeah, I like tamales. <laughs> so, like, thank God he asked me to take his number. Because I feel so much right. more awkward when they're like, let me have your number. Yeah. And I don't want to say no. And you're like, no, Jesse, fuck politeness. You can say no. I know. But so, anyways, thank God. I'm like, I can put his and number And how I my- usually say it is, no, thanks. <laughs> Just the sweetest can be, because then they're just confused why I'm acting like that. <laughs> I'm not being bitchy, and I'm not like, but it's like they asked me for something. no thanks. Yeah, so I, I just <laughs> took his number. I maybe was gonna get those tamales because I do love a good. Here is what I want to know: is how fresh are those tamales yeah. if he's going to Mexico? Well, and that's what he said. He's like, I gotta get rid of them tonight because you know <laughs> they don't last very long. And I was like, well, I don't think I need those tamales. <laughs> And then, and then he tells me the joke, which I've heard a couple times, you know, why do Mexicans have tamales for Christmas? Otherwise, the kids don't have anything to unwrap. I have also heard that joke, yes. So he tells me that not (laughs) okay. I was like, that's messed up. That's what I said. (laughs) But I'm like, also, you're Mexican, so I guess if anybody's going to tell the joke, it's going to be you. But. Yeah. Still seems a little screwed up. And yeah. then, <laughs> like, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> so then I went in the other room, moved on with my life. I didn't call him. But it was such an interesting day. That is amazing. Like, I like that just the other one was just a normal shotgun. Just a normal, <laughs> normal sh- shooting. Just a normal shot in the side. <laughs> That's your standard. Just, yeah. If just you're your get standard, standard every gunshot day wound. bullet wound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. He sounds like he's had an interesting life. Yeah, he's sober now, so I'm guessing he, like, got out of whatever crap he was. You also learned that during this conversation. I I just, like, it's just one of those things where you think to yourself halfway through the conversation, like, I mean, he was so nice. Oh, yeah. But it's like, did I invite all of this? Well, and that, and I'm just like, (laughs) I wonder, like... You know, what's going through this guy's mind? He's like, I'm going to tell this little white girl at the gym about how many times I've been shot. Yeah. I wonder what goes through a lot of people's minds a lot of the time. <laughs> like, it was fine. And I, I don't care. You can tell me whatever. I'm like, cool. Speaking of guns, guess what we found in our patient bathroom? <laughs> it wasn't a whole gun. It was just a loaded clip with hollow points in it. <laughs> what in the world? Right? Somebody like came out and they like had it in their hand. And you know how like if you're going to slip someone a 20 so you get a better table? Like sure. he was holding it like that. Like you couldn't see what it was. I'm sure he was just trying to like. Not show everybody he had a gun clip. abundance of caution. Yes. Sure. So he like hands it over the desk and he's like, um, I found this in your patient bathroom. And the way he's holding it, I'm thinking it's going to be like somebody left money in there. Or somebody left a little piece of paper with personal information sure. or something. And then I leave him. It's a so freaking loaded clip, like magazine. To a <laughs> I was like, uh, thank you. Did you guys have any police officers in recently? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's my only hope. I was like, what do I do with this thing? Right. Do I ask around and see if it's anybody's? Do I give it to the person who left it behind? Like, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. Obviously, we're not being very responsible with a gun. 
Um, <laughs> it was just so weird. So eventually I ended up just calling the Chico PD and I was like, hey, can you like pick this up? And then if the person wants to come claim it, they can come claim it. Because I'm like, I don't really want to just hang on to it. Yeah, that's you a know? thing to keep at your office. Yeah. So um, they sent an officer over and he came in. He was super nice, um, you know, really polite. What was his name? Um, last name Clark. I just always wonder just because of Carly, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I would have recognized her husband. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, I think his last name was Clark. But so he uh, was like, you know, I can certainly take this, you know, um, and, you know, I'll write a report up. It'll get stored. Like the people, if they like recognize that it's missing and want to come look for it, they have to like go through all this junk to like get it back apparently. And so he was like, and I don't have access. Like, I can't have access to any of your patient information, obviously. Right. He's like, do you have an idea of who it might have been? Time frame. It had happened pretty early in the morning. So we, like, went through and we figured it had to have been, like, one of ten patients or the people that were with them. Okay. Because everybody's got a driver. Um, and so we just started, like, he was like, you know, I would recommend just calling and so we just started calling and saying it's actually interesting i know well me. that's what i was like and he was like don't say what it is just say like did you leave something here you right. know and so we called and we got to like the seventh person and we're like um and percy's like we'll call the men because this is a bigger gun like a woman's not going to carry this and okay. then and then i'm like so we did that like the first like five men or whatever that were in that morning and then I was like, you know what? We need to call the women, too, because everybody's got a driver. It could be yeah. their husband or whoever. So the, like, second woman we called, she's like, answers the phone. We're like, hi, um, somebody left something in our bathroom this morning. We we're just wondering, did you use the bathroom or leave anything behind while you were here? And her husband back around was like, is it part of a gun? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm like, oh, oh, found found the culprits. Okay. So, um, you know, are you going to come back and get it cuz, you know, whatever. And they're like, "Yeah, we'll we'll come get it." And so the officer's like, "Okay, you know, do you have an envelope?" I was like, "Okay." So I give him he writes, "Be more careful, Chico PD." And he puts the clip in the envelope, which was hilarious. I thought that was so funny. Um, and so I was like, "Okay, well, you know, thank you so much." And you know what? I get it. Like he would have spent hours <laughs> having to deal with, like, reports and crap over all that. Right. And we were able to solve it. And he wasn't saying, like, I don't want to do my job. He was just like, we could probably find an easier solution to this, you sure. know. And so I totally respect that. Yeah. Um, I think the only thing that's interesting to me is, like, they don't know if whatever guns that guy has are registered or if he's a good dude. Right. You'd think that they'd rather just take it. No, I know. And that was kind of my thing with, like, I mean, I don't have a problem with people having guns, but no. I'm just like, if you're so careless that you're leaving behind your clip sure. on a bathroom counter, like, at a doctor's office? Right. Like, why do you even have a gun with you in a doctor's office? What? I mean, are you yeah. paying close enough attention that the safety's actually on? Right. <laughs> Next time, are you just going to leave the whole gun there? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, I don't know. So, um... So <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, they're coming to get it. You know, one of the other gals was on the phone with him. And so the officer was like, all right, you know, and he was super nice. Have a good weekend. Blah, blah, blah. Left, whatever. And um, and then <laughs> my coworker gets off the phone and she was like, I was like, are they, I'm like, how far out of town were they? Because they live like a significant distance out of town. Oh. They're like an hour, two, hour and a half away. And she was like, oh, she said they were almost home. And I was like, oh, that's a bummer. That's a lot of driving. And she was like, oh, they're not coming to get it today. And I was like, what? <laughs> and she said, oh, we'll just get it next time we have an appointment. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I, like, locked it up in a drawer where, like, I keep their cash box and stuff. And yeah. I'm like, at least no one's going to, like, mess with it or anything. Like, it's probably safe, you know. 
unless there's a fire or something right. where you say like there's ammunition there but um yeah <laughs> that was a weird one interesting we've had some strange things happen at work life's just been weird lately yes but that was one of the weird <laughs> it just keeps getting weirder what's going on with you it's so weird i don't know like just everybody keeps telling me nothing really weird with me necessarily but like everybody keeps telling me all these really strange stories like blake's mom found a hole in her ceiling next what? to the smoke detector and she has like no idea what it was and like both mckenzie and aiden say like wasn't them but, like, she found the broomstick, and the broomstick fixed, like, perfectly in this little hole. <laughs> it was them. <laughs> so, I'm like, it's got to be your kids. But she's like, no, like, Aiden's not a good liar. I'm like, interesting. Okay, but maybe Aiden, also, Aiden and his friend were messing around. His friend did it. Aiden's like, it wasn't me. That's true. He's yeah. not lying. I don't know. But So, like, that, like, just, like, I don't know. Everybody's got all these, like, just odd stories and i'm like okay oh yeah we should probably talk about why producer brad isn't here do we need to even bring him up that's an odd story it's not odd it's pretty fucking odd that he's at a movie i mean oh i don't think odd's the right word lame i think i was thinking lame (laughs) that's probably (laughs) yeah uh yeah second time now he's ditched us for a movie like this shit's in your calendar bro we plan it out months in advance also you can go watch movie legit anytime exactly but see blake is also he's gonna go watch it on sunday and he's like i gotta stay off facebook i gotta not talk to anybody yeah like, i mean it is the ending of right this long years of series and whatnot so i get it it's kind of a big deal we're talking about avengers the end End game game. whatever yeah we're totally gonna go watch it too i'm just really hoping if i'm just if that taylor swift end game song is not in that movie i'm gonna be really disappointed oh no that's a weird song i wanna be an end game end game yeah that's like a love song i wanna be a first string well i know but i think it'd be funny Hello, it's got a, it's got the Guardians of the Galaxy guy, right? And oh, he listens to music, so yeah. he could be listening to Taylor Swift Endgame. He might um, have updated his collection. Oh, yeah, he only listens to, like, <laughs> 80s, huh? <laughs> Some old school <laughs> 70s, 80s rock. Um, yeah, there's going to be lots of interesting people in this one. We actually went and watched the Captain Marvel movie. Was it good? It, you know what? It was really good i like that actress i mean the marvel what movies are in? typically pretty good i i keep saying that i like her i don't, I don't know. know i must have like a crush on her or something because all she was in she was like an extra in jump one of the jump streets oh are you serious? <laughs> that's it like she was in like she was like in it you know but like super not a main not like part a character obviously that i remember yeah and so, funny. I don't know, I keep telling Blake, I'm like, I really like her. And he's like, what, from Jump Street? You know, and I'm like, I guess, because that's the only thing I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, so, I don't know, I must think, like, internally, I just, like, think she's real, like, just a sexy lady or something. We friends. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I, like, for some reason, I feel like I love her. Yeah. Well, I, I had no idea who she was. I wasn't, I didn't feel like I loved her before I went and saw the movie. In fact, I was completely, like, meh about seeing the movie at all they did not like advertise it to its capacity they you didn't. know i didn't see a lot about it i know it. it ended up coming out kind of like right before endgame and so like the main focus has been on endgame right and they could have timed that a little better i guess and i learned they filmed captain marvel after endgame oh really yeah yeah they probably have so much cgi to do in an in, in game though that yeah, it's, it's such gonna a take deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. years yeah i don't know um it was like going into it i was just like well i guess i have to see this because it's gonna tie in with the last movie sure you know um it was so under publicized underrated 
so it good. It got a billion dollars. It was really good. Like, it made a crap ton of money. Even the boys, who, especially Remy, is just like a tiny little chauvinist. Um, <laughs> tiny little one. <laughs> I'm doing my best to scrub it out of him, but oh my lord, sometimes, like, ugh, girl, you know, he's just in that age of life. I just love that she's got, like, the ca- the captain, like, yeah, like she's title. She's captain. Yeah. You always know, mess with her. She I saw an really interview with her and her Scarlett little. Johansson on Ellen. Oh, yeah. And uh, Ellen was like, because, so they were chatting, obviously, about Endgame. Because that's what everybody chats about. Because that's what it's all about. And I mean, she is in Endgame. Yes. But, and I think the publicity was for Endgame. But anyway, so Helen was like, well, yeah, you know, you were also in uh, that recent Captain America movie, you know. And (laughs) I think she just like misspoke because everybody's go to is Captain America. Right. And she was like, like, you mean Captain Marvel. She's like, I don't know if you're joking. I can never tell if comedians are joking, but that seems serious. (laughs) She's like, don't fuck this up for me, she okay? She was, like, so offended, but also, like, wasn't sure if she should be offended, like, all at one time. That's so funny. But I really think that Ellen just misspoke. And she's like, nope, didn't mean that. Yeah, but Ellen does have that, like, just the way she says stuff, you're like, are, are, are you, you kidding? kidding? Yeah. <laughs> or are you serious, but you're just smiling at me initially? Right. Yeah. She's yeah. a hoot and a half. I, I watched... Like Ellen on YouTube. Yeah. All the time. I, I mean, I see little clips every now and again of like something or a person I want to see, but I, yeah, I don't watch a ton of it. Yeah. So part of the best part of that movie probably okay. was the music. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like it made the movie. Interesting. There were like, I mean, there were times where I was just like, like I just thought it was great and so as we came out of the movie theater the boys both were kind of also about going to see it and so as we like came out and we're chatting and Remy goes mom do you know what I really like about that movie was just I liked the comedy (laughs) stop (laughs) stop I'm like, yeah, it was really good. He's like, I wasn't expecting that. He's so serious. <laughs> I love that. I don't know how I'm going to keep it together with kids, man. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Without just dying laughing, then I'm going to give them some complex that they can't ever say what's on their mind because their mom's going to laugh at them. It's so cute. Uh, it was so funny. He was just so earnest, though. I was like, yeah, I know. It totally shocked me, too. I <laughs> thought it was great. Like, I was not expecting that out of this movie. He's like, this is my, like, favorite uh, Marvel movie after Thor Ragnarok. I wow. was like, oh, <laughs> moving up. I thought I had seen all of them. But then last night, Blake was watching... Like, Infinity War? Is that Mm -hmm. what the title of it is? That's one of them. (laughs) Sorry, you guys. I really am not brushed up on my Marvel movies. But, um, and so we were, like, watching it, and I kept going, like, who's that? Wait, who's that? Wait, why did that guy just die? No. Wait. There's so many. Well, and Blake goes, haven't you seen this? And I was like, I thought so, but none of this looks familiar, even remotely. And then we, like, got more into it, because sometimes I'll be, like, like, I'll just... I just can watch a movie. I'll, I forget. Space I can watch out, it a million times. Who, else. who the fuck knows? Yeah. But eventually, like sometimes I'll see a scene and be like, oh, okay, I haven't seen this, this movie. It does seem familiar. But I kept kind of watching. I'm like, I have not seen this one. Oh, that's funny. So I got to, I fell asleep pretty fast, but so I need <laughs> to keep watching. You're going to want to see the end of that one before you see end game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Or it will make. Uh, no sense. Well, and then, I mean, there was just questions that came up that, like, I should have known so long ago. Like, but, like, <laughs> have you watched the Doctor Strange movies? No. Have you watched Ant-Man? We watched Ant-Man and the Wasp the other day, but we haven't seen Ant-Man. You haven't <laughs> seen Ant-Man? <laughs> so, but, yeah, it's like... But things that I should have known a long time ago, like when they were killing Loki at the beginning. I'm sorry if this is a spoiler. It's been out long enough. It's not a spoiler, right? 
Yeah. I think, didn't we spoiler alert, like, Home Alone or My Girl or something <laughs> a while back? <laughs> spoiler alert. But He so dies. They're killing Loki, and he's, like, talking about how he's the prince of, um, what's it called? <laughs> prince of, what? It, what is that Scandinavian term that, like, Thor is, like, the king of? Oh. Valhalla. Is that what it is? No, mm-hmm. that's heaven. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, he says some Norwegian term. I'm not sure. (laughs) But Loki's got black hair. Yes. And I'm like, that guy's not Scandinavian. And Blake's like, no, he's He's like adopted. adopted. (laughs) I was like, oh shit, I don't know. (laughs) You're like, they don't look anything alike. (laughs) And I'm like, good for them for like really making that clear. You know what I mean? Like this black haired like dude is definitely not Scandinavian. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where what he said he was the prince of, but <laughs> regardless. Um, yeah, he was not his actual brother. Yeah, but he he's dead, so I'm oh, assuming I didn't watch the whole movie, so. <laughs> 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 yeah. Prince of Asgard. God oh, damn. yeah, yeah. I'm like trying to think of all the Scandinavian words and that one wasn't coming to my head, but that is the that planet. one I should know. My high school was we were the Vikings. True story. And our football Shame. field was called Asgard Yard. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. <laughs> I did not know that. Mm-hmm. No, my biological mother was a Viking as well. Really? She went to PV. Um, yes. I'm like actually like a blood Viking. I did. I'm Norwegian. Oh. Pretty good chunk, I think. That hand motion with it, I just was like, <laughs> "Are you bleeding at the moment?" <laughs> it was, it was very menstrual. <laughs> I'm a blood Viking. <laughs> Speaking of sexual mm. things on podcasts, <laughs> is menstrual a sexual thing? <laughs> Well, I feel like it because you it's need to have a period to have a baby into yeah, the yeah. reproductive cycle. It's yes. not a very sexy thing, but I feel like it is sexual. I guess by like it is sexual by nature. Like um, being a woman is a sex, sure, and <laughs> it's part of your sexual organs. <laughs> okay, anyways, <laughs> but it's not like sexy fun times. <laughs> Um, the, okay, I've been listening to another podcast. Heather got, (gasps) Heather got me into it, and I I feel ashamed. Oh. It's called Call Her Daddy. (laughs) Okay. Have you heard of it? I might have. Is it a couple of women that talk about all the- Two bitches that talk about all of the sex. All of the people they've slept with? Yep. Yep. (laughs) I'm ashamed. It's disgusting. I literally, because, like, I'll, like, I listen to it, like, on my way to work all the way home. And, like, I'll, or, and on my walk sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah, I do that, because not, I listen to podcasts that are definitely very inappropriate for work. And I'm, like, I gotta make sure I, like, turn this, like, get completely out of the app, close it. I mean, it. the titles of them are, like, um, Just because like, if it's in your- double penetration and morning head. Yeah. It's, like, the one I think I'm listening to right now. Or something. Yeah, just because it's in your pocket and uh, like closed doesn't mean that you're not gonna accidentally hit play. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's embarrassing. It's really awful, and like literally every day I'll come home and I'll be like, Blake, is this really a thing that men do? Because I'll be like, all men do this. Like all men have nudes saved somewhere of all of their exes that are never gonna delete them. And I'm like, do you just have a bunch of nudes of other chicks that you keep looking at? And he's like, I don't think I've ever gotten a nude. I'm like, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Is what he tells oh, you. Right. I'm like, okay, that's what you say, but who knows? And then and he's like, Dan, how'd you find out? Right. <laughs> they talked about blumpkins on the episode today, which I knew of the word blumpkin. <laughs> I did not know what it meant, <laughs> but I learned a thing today. Okay. And I also learned I'm never going to do a blumpkin. Mm-mm. And I like texted Blake immediately. I'm like, would you be turned on if I did this while you were pooping? And he's like, no. No. I'm like, thank God, because I'm not going to do why just why i don't understand so yeah it's like my new obsession right now it's and like i said i'm embarrassed that sounds interesting i don't have any desire to listen to it don't start 
guess what? I've got like 30 podcasts in my podcast feed. Don't and start. The last thing I need to do is add another one. Don't. Just don't. Also, especially I feel like as a married woman, it's just really not relatable. Yeah. Just really not. Because they're just talking about sex capades and how to right. find your next hookup and yeah. what to do at your next hookup and how to, All right. when you start talking to a guy, how do you deal with that situation? I'm like, none of this applies. Right. But it's right. interesting to know what the young people are doing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because you're so old. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ancient. Speaking oh, we've of, almost married a year. Oh, whoa. Speaking of what the young people are doing these days, I've had to explain to Adam, dear husband, and one of my coworkers this week, two different terms that I thought were just normal vernacular. Okay, what are they? I want to know if I know. Okay, so... This came up in the car when we were coming back from the Giants game. I don't recall how it came up, but send it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just gonna send it. And Adam's just like, that's not a thing. And I'm like, yes, it is. And the boys are in the back seat going, yes, it is, Adam. Like, Did you show it him the means videos? this. No, like we just were like telling him how to use it in a sentence. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. you gotta watch the like original send it videos. I feel like that guy's maybe like, we. Maybe I'm we just do that. gonna send it. But yeah, so he uh, was just like incredulous, did not believe us, thought we were making stuff up just to mess with him. Before we go to the the next word, I have something about send it that Heather just texted Blake and I today. And Heather said, well, she didn't say anything, but it reminds me of Blake. So it says, re-downloaded Tinder and the first guy's bio read, I identify as male, M-A-I-L, because all I do is fucking send it. <laughs> <laughs> and I work for the post office. <laughs> is that not a great line? That's hilarious. That I love it. Hilarious. Um, yeah, I had to prove it to him by seeing like a younger person's Instagram post and show it to him. And he was like, oh, okay. Like that was the only way he would believe that it was actually a thing. Oh, that's a definite thing. Yeah. And so, and then <laughs> today. I'm tag him in something on Instagram. You've got to. And then today at work, um, people were like trying to figure out when to go see a movie and so there were all these different dates and stuff and it was like people were writing down their name under which days they could go to see who like which day we could get everybody together okay and and on one of the days so he just started like writing no no way not gonna happen like all this stuff and i went over and i wrote nah fam and one of the girls was like what does that mean and I'm like, it just means like, no, like it's, it's just a thing. You can add fam to anything. And she's just like, I like, don't RIP fam. Yeah. No, she just not getting it at all. And she's like, you're making this. <laughs> but I'm like, why would I be making this up? I don't feel as old anymore. I know. Right. And so, um, <laughs> same thing. I like, she, I heard her. I didn't go get the person. I just heard her like, Hey. Come here, one of the younger girls from work. I'm like, do you know what that means? And she's like, yeah, it just means like, no, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, my gosh. I was like, look, I am hip and cool. Yep. We know. We know what's up. I'm not most much of like a social media star. No, me So neither. like, you know, all these new things you can do with Instagram and stuff. I don't always know. And sometimes, like, Heather will do – because Heather has to do a social media, like, for her team and stuff. And yeah. when she was working at the golf course, she was, like, the social media chick. So, obviously, she had to kind of know about Instagram. But, like, she'll do something or, like, she'll tell me, like, just do this. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I have to ask Heather questions all the time. Like, how do I do this on Instagram? <laughs> There's tons of cool stuff. Um, I have lately been doing about a post a month, so really. But every but when you go, you go. You'll do like a few. Yeah. Speaking of, how's Jackson? Oh, he's good. 
he's yeah, he's pretty much all healed up and he's playing baseball this weekend. So right. he can put a batting helmet on and all the good stuff. I was glad to know about it after where I didn't have to worry. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really tell I mean, my parents knew he was going to have it taken off, but right. um, I didn't really tell anybody about it because, so I should probably explain that my son had a tumor taken off of his head. Sorry. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it was benign and everything's fine. So, um, because... I am just the kind of person that I'm like, we'll worry about it when we need to worry about it. Sure. So like stressing out about it now and having a panic attack and freaking out that, oh my God, what and if it's something bad? getting everybody stressed out about it. Yeah. yeah. Like it's not going to matter. Or it then they tell you the stories like, yeah, my nephew had the same thing and they told him everything was fine and then he died in surgery. Right. No, yeah. You don't need that crap. I mean, and having <laughs> the tumor taken off was like a fairly minor procedure itself, you know? And so, um, and then they were just like, well, just send it in for a biopsy and blah, blah, blah. Because it hadn't gotten big enough to, like, biopsy it first. Sure. You know. Um, it was, like, marble-sized little guy. Um, but it was just really prominent because it was right on the front oh, you of could his see forehead. It? Yeah. How yeah. crazy. And you couldn't, you didn't see it as much before because his hair was longer. But when we shaved his head for that oh. play... All of a sudden, it was like, see, there's a reason for things. Why do you have a giant bump on your head? <laughs> things, like, surprise you sometimes. Yeah, I know. So, um, everything was fine. And, yeah, I'm like, you know, until we hear that it's something awful, like, there's well, no reason. People. Yeah, there's no reason to, like, have it be a big thing. Yeah. Like, so. I get that. I just posted pictures of his fun little procedure and tumor and bandage. Did he have head. to go out? No. Oh. It was just local. So, um, he did really good. He's good. my kid that's like freaked out about medical procedures. So I was a little concerned about how he's going to deal with it, but you know, he's grown up a lot in the last few years. He's really, I mean, he's a little man. <laughs> he like looks like a little man. I know. The last time I saw him, I'm like, who in the hell are you? Oh, you haven't seen him in a while either. I feel like, well, I saw him a few weeks ago. There was a one night I came over here and they were a uh, spring break. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's like almost as tall as me. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, he wasn't standing. Yeah, it's wild. I mean, he's got some like heft to him too now. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> when I look at pictures of my brother, like, I mean, my brother didn't get heft until he was like in his 20s. Okay, and by heft, I mean like well, yeah, he's Jackson not was skinny mini he was they were so especially jackson was just so like skinny gangly you know yeah. that it was like there was nothing to him now when he stands there he's like a presence sure. you know well, yeah, but my, my brother was not like, like he's been doing leg day <laughs> no i see old pictures of him and i'm like oh my god my brother was a half of a human at one a point teeny. yeah he was crazy Crazy. It was really cute the last time the boys saw him. I can't remember what we were doing or where we were at. Oh, I guess it was when we were doing your um, going away party thing, like send off for Special Olympics. Okay. Um, <laughs> Remy kept coming up and like asking me, like, Jake, do you want to play this video game with me? Like, do you want to do the claw machine with me? <laughs> Jake was like getting ready to leave and he was like, oh, I'm taking off. I'm, like, sorry, bud. Like, whatever. And I was like, oh, it's so funny because, like, my boys were so obsessed with Jake so and Bobby when Quite they gone. were teenagers, you know, like when they were 12, 13, 14, 15, and my kids were really young. They just thought they were the coolest. Obsessed. Like the coolest guys. Yeah. It was so funny. And I'm like, I still think they're like, it's Jake. He's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> I still it's funny how those like little kid things stay with you like I'm glad Blake doesn't listen to this but like at church camp like my crush like growing up in church camp he was like from Reading but we all went to the same church camp or whatever and like I literally from fourth grade to like my senior year of high school like this was like the ultimate guy every summer you were just like oh yeah and <laughs> Like, now I see him on Instagram, and I'm still just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. Like, he's married. He's got two kids. I'm, I'm married. married. I'm perfectly yeah. happy. Don't want to be with this man. But I just, like, I see You're him, like, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> There's that 
special like you know like you just always feeling keep that innocent yeah yeah, yeah innocent love sure. my first like love yeah but i didn't talk to him right you know because that would have been terrifying <laughs> Once I got older, we, like, hung out a few times, like, even outside of church camp, which and was kind of cool. And still, that was terrifying. Yeah. Right? It's like, <gasps> oh, my I, God, he touched like, my arm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the hot tub. I don't know what to do. We're going <laughs> swimming. Oh, my God. No. And they, all the church camp guys were so weird. Like, when I went over there, because I was hanging out with a bunch of them, and I got there, and one guy was naked in a towel sitting at the piano. And he started serenading. Were you the only girl there? Yeah, at the moment. Wow. I know. That's brave. Yeah, I didn't know what I was getting into, no. to be totally honest. You're like a bunch of sexually starved teenage boys. You're lucky you got out safely. Well, and then we go in the kitchen, and his parents are there. Oh, well, that, actually, that I think helps. It, I think it was just his dad was there. Yeah, because his mom knows me. But So his dad was there, and... You know, I'm like, hey, how are you doing? You know, and he's like, oh, hi, I'm Phil. You know, like, what's your name? And I was like, I've literally known you for like 15 years. Oh, I love that. When <laughs> someone introduces themselves to me, and I'm like, look at you. I'm like, you cocky motherfucker. You can't be bothered to remember who I am. We spend a week together every summer. <laughs> and then like, I see you every once in a while. Cause, like that was back. We'd like go up to writing, like go to church. It's we, like, one thing to be like, oh, hey, oh, I forgot your name. Or something. But he did not Just recognize blank me. blank stare. Remotely. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not because I changed drastically. Yeah, If no. you saw a picture of me in fourth grade, you'd be like, yep, that's Jesse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, you've always looked the same. <laughs> so. That's so funny. Yeah, it was just so I'm like. And then, luckily, the guy was like... I just like to shake their hands, look them straight in the face, and be like, hi, yeah, we met last week at the blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, luckily, I like, didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was like, dad, like, this is just... <laughs> she's been going to church camp for years. You're and just, like, like, out of your place. And he's... Yeah. That, like, and that could be. You we're not in the pine trees. I sure. don't know who you are. <laughs> you don't have dirt all over the place. <laughs> You've yeah. taken a shower recently. Right. <laughs> because I'm one of those girls that's like, I'm at camp. I'm not clean and I'm not going to get clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I definitely like to have a shower every now and again. But no, I'm family camp that night we spend two nights. I won't take a shower while I'm there. No, oh, not. yeah. I usually don't either. Nope. I just <laughs> wait till I get home. That's not that long. It's not that long. It's long. I'm in the dirt, though. Well, I mean, but we're there. We get there Saturday afternoon. Yeah. We leave Monday morning. Yeah. Like, it's not that long. It's so. not crazy. Yeah. I, but I, I get home, and I thing. really enjoy that shower. <sighs> nice hot shower in the privacy of your own home, mm -hmm. not in stalls. Yep. Yeah. It depends. If we're going to do something after family camp, then, like, I usually, like, if we're going out to lunch or something or doing stuff with family in town then right usually well yeah you do know people up there i just stop at it's not foster freeze what's it called the ship frost the frosty what the frosty the fr yeah is that what it's called yeah i'm questioning everything i know about life but yeah <laughs> <laughs> i know it's not foster freeze it's definitely not foster freeze <laughs> the pine shack frosty pine shack yeah 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 it's the pine shack frosty <laughs> Yeah, we go there. <laughs> I don't ever call it the Pine Shack Frosty. I just call it the Pine Shack. Oh, sometimes we just call it the Frosty. Oh, well, now I know. <laughs> now I feel like a local. <laughs> I missed out on all these years. <laughs> You're just it. looking at me so confused, and I'm like, am I, are, am I having a stroke? Are the words that are coming no, out I of never, my mouth? I never called it the Frosty, yeah. but I wish you would have told me, that and then I could have been like, um... We call it the Frosty, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we used to do that, too. But I don't I don't eat milkshakes anymore. Oh. So, that's okay. Is there any vegan versions of milkshakes? You know, I've tried to make milkshakes. Like with almond milk? With. Or coconut milk? Well, I mean, yeah. You can get, like, vegan ice cream. And um, a lot of them are really good, actually. Um, and I've tried to make milkshakes with them before and they've been okay the consistency is just a little different so but I would, even that's making, where i would have the hardest time 
Well, the consistency in a milkshake. Actually, some of the like coconut milk and almond milk ice cream ones are like just as creamy, but don't have that weird slime. You know, the after dairy slime no. in your mouth. Yeah. So those are really good, actually. Ben and Jerry's has like knocked it out of the park. I would just. They I just came out with cookie dough like not that long ago. And like it's been my life lately. Do they have like I'm vegan options sh- at like Baskin Robbins? No. I know, what a world, right? <laughs> like, where are they? They have 31 flavors. One of them can't be fucking soy exactly. milk. Exactly. Right. Maybe add another flavor. Have 32. Keep a couple of the same flavors. Have them be soy milk. Still say you have 31 flavors, but also, you have 34 ice creams. Nobody's fucking counting. No. Definitely not. <laughs> But now that you say that, I think I might next time we go in there. Except for, you know what I'm questioning now? It's an even number of tubs. Right. Where's the extra one? Where's the 31st? They are like stacked kind of like alternately. Oh, are they? I don't think they're like straight on. I think okay. it's like the back row could have five and the front row could have four. Okay, so challenge. Count the tubs of Baskin <laughs> Robbins. Those. And if there's not 31, it'd be like, what I, the fuck? Yeah, I protest. Give me some free clown cones or something. Um, Remy actually just got a Baskin Robbins gift card for his birthday, so we'll have to go get ice cream. I'll count how many flavors there See, are. That's a good mom. I'll get still getting your back. kids Baskin Robbins gift cards when you can't go. Oh, I didn't give him the gift card. Oh, okay. somebody else gave it to him, but I'll still take him to get ice cream. That's sweet. Um, they used to try to always get the clown cones because they knew I didn't like clowns, but now that they've like cured me of that they just get whatever but <laughs> they're still creepy in the case over there all the little clown heads they're cute so strange they're cute till they come alive <laughs> oh remy used to call baskin robbins basketball robbins <laughs> it was the cutest thing ever i can't with him just i like, just can't with him you go basketball robbins <laughs> You know, it makes so much sense. <laughs> it does. It way makes more sense than Baskin. What it's does that like even mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, like, you know, the people that say, like, really normal thing, like, not normal things, but, like, colloquialisms almost, like, little sayings. And people, yeah. some people say something, it's, like, not right, but it kind of sounds like it. But, like, all their life they just grew up not really knowing what the term was. Yes. And now they're 35 years old and still, I can't think of one right now. Okay, so, for example, someone told me today that they didn't cry. They just had tears welted up in their eyes. And I was like, oh, I think it's weld. <laughs> Like my receptionist that said she was going to get her pap smeared. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is, you hear it one way and you just repeat that and you don't realize. That's why I think part of me is so like weird about that stuff where I'm like I have to know exactly what it is is because I learned everything through reading not through listening to people yeah. and so I'm like oh I know what it's correctly <laughs> like how it's spelled and how or there's also some at work that says breftist <laughs> every time I can't I can't even handle it how about just don't tell me about what you had this morning <laughs> I'm like, Keep that you yourself. have seen that word spelled out, right? right? And you do know that there's not a T in it. Or ambulance. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, nobody's <laughs> perfect. Nobody's <laughs> nerfed. <laughs> totally true. Totally <laughs> true. Oh, my goodness. All right. I think we should call it a night. We should. Uh, it's been fun. It's fam. Been, it's been great. <laughs> Drink up, fam. 